right, we're trying something new today, folks. We are doing live Instagram. We are doing live on Twitch, uh, YouTube. So it's a little thing today. Try it out. See what happens. We'll go from here. And Bob Barker passes at 99. Josh is not on. Josh, you got to come on. I'm on YouTube right now, dude. I'm on YouTube. I am live. So, Josh, you got to come on. Come on YouTube. I don't know if you can just, I, I I haven't invited you, but if you can find me, you can come on live with me. Well, actually, then I can't talk to you through here, but let's just keep it the way it is. Bob Barker passes at 99. I got a picture from Happy Gilmore in there. I'm very excited about that. Yesterday, so Gumbo Chef is doing a play up in in Dorset, Vermont, but we he's staying in Manchester. It's called Manchester City, Vermont. And there was a restaurant up the stairs. You know, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I think it's called, I literally think it's up the stairs. Oh, and he's here. All right, Josh, you're here. All right, good. He's here, he's here. I'd have to invite you to come on. That I'm not 100% sure on, but we will try it in the future. So you can listen on here, watch on here, listen on here. I'll fix it in the future. We'll get that better. And I will figure that out in the future. So I'm at this restaurant in... Manchester, and it's called, let me see if I can find out the name of it. I think it was called Up the Stairs or something. What was it called? Not the French Bulldogs, folks. It was called Up, uh, what was it called? Yeah, I, I talked about it yesterday on the podcast. Yeah, I have to find out where I saw Gary Bettman. That was yesterday. I, I well, it, it, it's in Manchester. And I go, are you Gary Bettman? And he goes, he is. So he takes a picture with me and he goes, don't post it. Don't post it anywhere. So I'm not going to post it, but I will show it to everybody. And I sent it to everybody. Uh, Rob said, of course you knew. He said the worst commissioner in all the sports. There he is. There he is. That's him. Him there. Yes. That's Gary Bettman. Well, that's Gary Bettman. And I get it. So that's kind of cool. So I met him yesterday. I thought that was kind of cool. Met him, we hung out. Well, we really didn't. We took a picture and walked away. And everybody, you know, I'm not, I wasn't raised to be an asshole, but I would, I, I still can't believe he canceled the season. I can't believe that they fucked it up after the Rangers won in 94. Popularity was at its highest, and they, they lock him out for the beginning of next season, and they cancel 2004, 2005, the entire season. I mean, and he's been a commissioner since 93. You know, he's a nerdy little, nerdy little guy. He's a little, he was wearing a sweater. You know, we looked like a retired uh, grandfather at the restaurant. This is the commissioner of the NHL at a restaurant in Manchester, Vermont. On a, I saw him Friday morning. I guess he's on vacation. I don't know. They said a lot of people have houses around there. Michael did a great job in the play. Gumbo Chef was great. Saw it two nights in a row, which was good. But I wanted to leave this morning because I, it, it is, it's literally like a three and a half hour ride back, 200 miles, because you go on these one-lane highways, and I was exhausted. So I'm like, Michigan's out getting her nails done. I have on Curacao against Chinese Taipei, but in 55 minutes, we have the first college football game. They had high school on today, but they have, uh, in Dublin, they have Notre Dame versus Navy. Josh Jacobs signed a one-year contract with up to $12 million. You know, he's, it's 10.1, so they got he even gets more money this year than Saquon will get. With the Giants, I think, what does he get, $11.11 million he can make up to? Well, Jacobs was the NFL's leading rusher. Jonathan Taylor has a deadline of Tuesday to be traded. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I really think he could help Anthony Richardson. I really do. I mean, that would be a good, it would be good to take some pressure off Anthony Richardson, who only was 6 for 17, but they said he has some nice throws, has some accuracy issues. Trey Lance got traded to the Cowboys, and basically... Dak Prescott's $126 million in guarantees ends after this year. They have an out next year. I don't know what they're thinking. And I sent this to everybody. Jerry Jones, who I cannot stand as an owner. Jerry Jones sucks. There's no other way to put Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, to me, is one of the worst owners in, in all of sports. And there was a... I don't know why they let him... D- Daniel brought up a good point. Why would you post this? Why would you post this? Jerry Jones called his grandson Paxton Anderson, a wide receiver at Texas to gather more intel on on De- DeMarvion Overshawn, who they took in the third round from Texas. Yeah, I, I don't know why. He due diligence on a player, calling his grandson for insight in the war room on draft night? 
They, this is Morning Blitz said, equally, equally hilarious and outrageous. I mean, how do you do that? How do you do that? You're right then and there, do that. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you, I mean, it's, you're in the war room and you're calling your grandson about a player to get, you're not sure if you're going to take, we, we like this guy. Let me call my grandson. I mean, that, that's kind of ballsy, man. I, I don't know. I, I saw that and I was like, that's why Dallas sucks. That's why Dallas hasn't won the championships since 95. I mean, they haven't been, in, they haven't been to a, champ, a conference championship game even since then, since they won against Pittsburgh in Arizona. My mom was there and got me a T-shirt. But I saw that. I was like, that's ridiculous. And Daniel also sent me this one from Mike Up Moments. I think it's a joke. Dak Prescott Cologne for those nights when you don't want to score. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. And every team's most recent top five draft pick. Last time the Steelers picked a top five pick was 1970 when they took Terry Bradshaw. 1970. That's the last time they had a top five, top five pick. Yankees won yesterday. And the Yankees, this is crazy. The Yankees, when, 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 when uh, Garrett Cole pitches, they are 17 and 10. In all other games, they are 45 and 56. They're 11 games under 500. All other games that Garrett Cole doesn't pitch, they are 17 and 10. He got his 11th win of the season yesterday. And the Yankees, what, they went 6 2 yesterday? But isn't that great? Mets lost again, they lost to the Angels. I, I read that Mike Trout said that he definitely thinks that Otani will come back and pitch and hit. He's going to hit the rest of the season. Next season, who knows, because they said it's hard to hit and also go through rehab for Tommy John, for the arm. But if anybody could do it, and it's his second one, first one's in 2018, we shall see. And Seattle won. Texas lost their eighth straight, and Seattle and Texas.